Birth and death are as contradictory as night and light. But they are strangely associated with an identical Hebrew word, kever. Kever means a tomb where a body is buried. But kever also means a womb where life is formed. A womb is a gateway to life, while a tomb is a gateway to afterlife. But is there an afterlife? Or does laying a body to rest in a grave mark the absolute end? If it were within our power to interview a soul, we would undoubtedly glean insight into afterlife. Instead, we have chosen to eavesdrop on a set of twins in their mother's womb to shed some light on the before life. Hey twin, I'm scared of birth. Why? It's the end of existence. We get ejected. We're finished. I'm also anxious, twin, but I'm not scared. Birth is supposed to be a transition to the real life. Huh. Don't give me the hiccups with your afterbirth real-life fantasies. How can life be supported without an umbilical cord and amniotic fluid? Well, maybe it's a radically different form of life. Maybe we won't need the cord. I wish you were right. I keep kicking that thing away from my neck. Stop spinning for a minute and imagine, twin. After birth, we will enter a ginormous universe filled with light and with air that we will breathe through our mouths. Come on, grow some brain cells, will you? Mouths are not for breathing. Besides, if your postnatal paradise existed, why has no one ever returned from that realm? Forget it. Once we leave here, we collapse into cold, dry nothingness and wither into eternal gloom. I don't think Mother would allow that to happen. She nurtures us in this cozy womb. She sends us nutrients for months on end. For what purpose? Just to end it all with birth? No, Mother has greater plans for us than that. Now you're beginning to sound infantile. Do you see a mother lurking in some corner of the womb? Not a trace. Show me a mother. And as for your nutrients, can't you feel that annoying cord? Don't exchange empirical for fantastical. Thankfully, these two delightful infants made it safely to the other side. They grew up in the universe that one had described and the other had denied. And until today, they continue their clamorous debate. It is only that the topic of contention has slightly shifted from is there life after the womb to is there life after the tomb? <laughs>